Hello everybody, I'm back again. So today I am here. <laughs> I haven't been doing videos in like forever, guys, and I apologize, but you know, life gets gets in the way, but I've been working on well today I've been working on this little project. I made this cute little itty bitty um journal. I only distressed and um, it's a two signature one. And you know, put it together, but I haven't um, decorated or anything. I also have two more and I just wanted to share um, that they, I wanna create them different. So as you can see, this is how they started. Well, that one started. Just various bits and pieces of paper. And so they're each gonna be a two signature. And the size, I think it's four and a quarter by about two and a half. And the spine, I think it's one inch. Yeah, one inch. So, yeah, I thought I, um, I was going to put these two together but because I want to distress them and do all this, you know, boring stuff you know, collage on them. I decided that I'm just going to do this solo. And hopefully next time I do a video, those are ready. And I thought today we can do some, um, you know, cute little itty bitty pockets. I went ahead and, let me pop these right there for now. I went ahead and shrunk many um, digi kits from various people. Uh, which this one I can't remember, but I think I'm going to. A lot of these are from um, Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. I think those pictures are not here. Darn it. Yeah, I'm not sure who those are from. I want to say Tracy Fox, but then I'm not 100% sure. So there's a few that are not from um, Shabby. There's some from the old design shop. So I kind of shrunk them. Um, this one I'm thinking of using, um, you know, vintage um, images. So I shrunk them down. I printed uh, four per page. This is two per page. Oh, here it is. There's a bigger one. You can see the name on this one. Oh, okay, no. It's very tiny. <laughs> can you guys see? I don't know, guys, but yeah. No, it's not, it's not crazy's. I thought it was, but it's not. Make sure I'm in frame here. So yeah, I thought I'd do little um, embellishment for this cute little journal. And um, let me move this out of the way over there. Don't mind this little dirty mat. My sister let me borrow it and I told her, what the heck did you do? But anyways, I don't have mine here. And uh, so I'm using hers. I just don't want to mess up her her uh, counter thingy here. But yeah, as you could see, some of these I already made some tucks. As you could see right there. So I thought I'd bring you guys along since it's been like forever. And, um, you know, do a crap with me, you know. And... Um, yeah, I had other ideas of videos and sorry guys, see these are so cute to make little tags and then just pop them in there. Okay, so I am going to cut these, not sure where I'm going with it yet, but I figured we can just play with it. I'm going to cut these because I know I want to use these on this tiny journal. But I don't know. I'm debating. What do you guys think? Should I make all the covers the same? I mean, I still need to decorate it, but I just did a... I don't know what you would call that. Just bits and pieces of different... Um, 
lace and trims and stuff that you have and just, you know, sew them together. So I don't know if I want to do that for all of them, all three of them, but I like the way it looks. I put a little doily on the back and, um, but yeah, I don't know. And I didn't put uh, anything hard on the cover. It's just um, paper pretty much, but it still holds up good. But I see this, so I'm hoping that once I put a pocket here, it's not gonna do that, but this one doesn't do that. So I'm not sure why. But we'll fix that. Everything always has um, a way for us to fix it. But anyways, so let's start here then. So then here, because of this, I feel like I need to use cardstock. Do I have cardstock is a question. I think I saw one. I don't know if you guys could see I have a big tray of paper here and scraps. Just everything I think I need. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you guys are all doing good. Like I said, I know it's been a long time. It's just, you know, sometimes life is good and sometimes life is not. But you know what? You just got to hang in there and roll with it and that's what I'm doing and um, just think positive pretty much see I have this one in cardstock oh okay that's this one and I printed that in the back so they could have a back okay so now I don't want to use this darn it okay let me see if I have another piece of cardstock here I thought that was just a, but this is from a book page. This one's more sturdy than the regular. You can use that. I'm gonna throw that back over there. And if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know and maybe we can continue and de finish decorating the whole thing. So, let's see. So I'm going to use this. And what kind of pocket do we want is a question. So, do I have a pencil here somewhere? Oh, there it is. So, I'm going to say... There's fine. There to there. And so let's put these children over here and pull out this paper trimmer. Hopefully I don't hit the camera. Where did I put the children? And so let's see. It's gonna be, I'm excited to make, you know, little itty bitty tags. So I'm excited about that. Okay. So yeah, I'm good with that. And then come back and I'm just going to, do, do, do I want that? Yeah, I do. And then I'm going to grab some of this and Right there. Sorry guys for making too much noise. Yeah, 
I, I decided to do this little itty bitty journal. Just something different, you know, than what I normally do. Sometimes I get in those moods. Okay, so that one is going to go right there. On this side, we don't have to worry because there's a tuck already there. So that's good. So then we're going to come and we need to collage this. Sorry for the noise, guys. But let's see. I know I have a little bag of here of all kinds of little scraps. So I'm going to pull that out here and see if we can use any of this stuff before I start tearing up big papers. Pop that over there. See, so we have some of this paper that I like. That's a little um, brittle. And I won't um, be, leave, blah, be gluing them down because I want to um, do a little bit of stitching in there. Okay, it's not long enough. But that's okay because it's going to get covered on the bottom. That one there. And then we can add here's some of this. No. Oh, look, there was uh, some cardstock there. I think I'm going to go for this one. And I'm going to pop that one right there. on my my um my shaky hands it's that hyperthyroidism Okay, and then this little piece is next. This is gonna go right there. Throw that over there. I think that's what I'm going to use. Just think it's so cute, just tiny little thing. So then this. 
this one will be right there. Isn't that cute? I'm excited. We need a little itty bitty tag. I did print some out. Hold on, I just gotta see if it was a little taggy. Um, which these are from Shabby Dabby Doodah. See if we can pop some of those in there. And here are some of the tags. Oh, not this one. But there's some of those tags, I thought. But, um, oh, I think they'll be good. I thought maybe they were too small. Isn't that cute? Sorry, guys. I got problems. I get excited. Just, you know, it excites me because it's so tiny and I want to make it look like a regular journal, just a miniature size one. I mean, you could still journal, you're just going to have to, you know, do a short little version of them. <laughs> Journaling. But I don't know, I just think they're adorable. I just wanted to do something, you know, different. There's many people out there that that like to do EDBD things like this and I'm like I keep looking at them and it's like I want to do that. I hope I'm in frame guys. I need to make sure I'm I am because I'm trying out this area but I think I need to pull the uh, phone more this way because I feel like I'm over here. But um, yeah, so I need to adjust it. Okay. So I can't glue this down at least because I want to do a little stitch there. But I'm thinking that cute little tag there. Oh, but it covers it. Okay, so maybe this this way. And this this way. I want that little stamp to show. And I need something bigger over here. I'm gonna have to probably make a bigger tag than this. <laughs> so yeah, just to get the idea. Oh, we can pop that one over there. Okay, so you guys get the idea. I just wanted to see it. <laughs> so, this one's done. We gotta stitch it, but then we got embellishment. 
And I did print out some words, small words, but I don't think, um, I think I need to make them smaller, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe not. And then I shrunk down with such, these are from Tracy, um, Tracy Fox, but I don't think I shrunk them enough. So I may have to, oh, and then I print, these are from uh, Victoria Designs. These are from Victoria Designs. So I have to sit there and cut, you know, a lot of these little itty bitties. But these are the, I was trying to get these labels, but yeah, I think they'll be good. Oh, and then I printed out some um, um, vintage um, documents. So I got to distress them. So yeah, I want to I do the whole thing. Put the whole, all kinds of stuff in there. But anyways, these are from... Oh God, what did it say? J, J. Lee 2? By J. Lee 2? I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, those are from her. Dress this real quick. It's so quiet, huh, guys? My kids are upstairs, so they are watching TV. So I got some free time. I said, let me go and turn on the camera. I always like to leave a, a little itty bitty border on the item I'm cutting. This one has a border, so I'm thinking this one might fit better. It'll make it stand out more, but I do like this one. And then I'm thinking of adding some, some kind of fibers, cheesecloth for sure. Let's see, which I'm hoping my sister's been getting all kinds of ants. So I'm hoping there isn't any in here. It appears not, so throw that up there. So we need to decorate this. So we're going to move that to the side. And see fibers just make everything look better. And then... Um, this one's a little, let me get my fabric scissors. Just 
make it a little scrappy. Just pop that one on the top. Move my mess. The only thing is, if I do that, I like that. <sighs> Those are too big. I'm gonna have to get something a little thin. Um, there's some, some thin ones. Where'd it go? There it is. Let's try that one. It's thin and it's got, um, a black border. Move that out of the way. She has a little uh, desk in her, um, uh, I guess it's like a breakfast nook, or it could be a little office, because it has this little desk here, and she doesn't use it, so I told her, can I play while I'm here? She said, yeah, and uh, yeah, she, whatever it is, she made it into a little office, and she doesn't really use this desk. She's got a bigger desk behind me, so she's letting me play i came to stay for a while with her bugger you know catch up right now she's running errands i told her oh, i'll stay home it's too hot outside it is too hot outside So something like that, guys. It may change. I don't know. <laughs> Move these over here for now. But um, I kind of like that. So I wanted to add some cheesecloth too, but now I'm not sure. But for now, I'm going to call this done. I will glue this down because then they're gonna fall all over the place. And then we'll start um, doing another pocket. I just need to get my pockets down so I know what kind of tags I need, size, I guess. Right there. And then this one. Oh my goodness, it's getting hot. I don't know if the AC's on, but. And then this one. Okay. Let's just put it in the center. started using this glue I love it guys I haven't been using my tacky glue since I got it so yeah I don't know am I going back to the tacky glue I'm not quite sure but I love that I love the nib very thin so it's easy to for the um, glue to come out not to mention the glue is more I don't want to say watered down but tacky glue is very thick and um, this one just comes out really fast. It doesn't really clog the little nip thing. So I don't know if I'm going to go back to the tacky one. <laughs> but so far, that's where I'm at on that one. So I'm going to pop that there and stitch it. Now what do we want to do here? 
I also have these. I forgot who I bought them from, but there was a lot of itty bitty things. It was like a. Yeah, I would have to look on Facebook. I mean, on Etsy. I don't know whose it was, but just various little um, bits and pieces. No, that's too big. See, I was thinking of. Do I have a bucket on this side? No. You know, something like this. So we can have a little tuck there. So there's a lot of little bits and please, ah, pieces to play with. You know, so I still got to play with the cover. So yeah, I can't remember where I got this from. I have to look. The little square ones. I bought this a while ago. That's why I don't remember. Actually, I just bumped into it. You know, that's really cute. Could even pop that one there and use it as a little pocket. See, all kinds of ideas are popping in my head now. These are, um, were gifted to me by somebody else. Um, It looks like they've been copy dyed. This is also another one that I'm thinking you could wrap around and you could actually use it as a little tuck too, you see? I hope I'm in frame. So I'm thinking of doing this to some of the pages, but I'm thinking of adding um, like some kind of fabric on the bottom, some uh, linen fabric or something. I don't see any right here that I have. Oh, wait. No? I have this little stash for when I need bits and pieces, but don't see any here. I thought I seen one. Okay. Guess not. That's not going to work. Need to fix that. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking of adding that. Um, shoot, I don't have any. Okay. I don't have anything close to me right now. I have to, I don't really have all my stuff here. So I'm playing with what I brought. This is really cute. I'm gonna leave that there. But yeah, I'm thinking of adding some, like some um, linen fabric, uh, stitching around it. I'm so tempted to get up and look for it, but I don't. But yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. And, uh, you know, as a little tuck on both sides. And it looks pretty. So I'm going to leave that there so I don't forget. And so here, I'm thinking of doing that. And you could even... Um, use lace. Like this kind of stuff. When I was cutting pieces. It looks like a little... Um, fence <laughs> and pop that there um, no that's not gonna match even this one would this one fit with this one no 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 I'm a little indecisive. Okay, so that's not going to work, but I like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here. But 
I need to get up and get some linen fabric and I'm gonna pop that there. Um, okay, hold that thought, guys. I have to get up, I have to get up. Let me see what I have in here. I have all kinds of projects that I've started. I need to, um, I need to finish them. I need to bring them on camera so you guys can work with me, you know? Oh man, don't tell me this one doesn't. Oh, and then I found this at a thrift store. I love it for collaging, but that's not what I want. Son of a gun. So let's see, where is my... Okay, so this one's bigger. <laughs> I need to wipe down that lid. It's a little dirty, all kinds of dust. See, I'm thinking like this kind of fabric. So I'm gonna put this in the floor and then I'm gonna grab this. And so I'm thinking Pop in that there. Now this is a little wrinkly and I like that. that one like that see like that and then we need, see I have these here that I think would look cute if I was to put one, but because of this, um, what do you call it? Oh, pearl there, it's gonna make it bulky. Now I could take it off and just use a flower. Because, yeah, it's, um, it's a little bulky and I don't like it and I don't think I have another one. Another type of flower. Now, do I want, um, sorry guys. Now I'm thinking, do I want, uh, like a little trim on the top? I have a lot of itty bitty pieces that I just, you know, save. not that one let me see see this one's perfect but it's gold it doesn't go with it yeah I don't see any this one's too big and it doesn't look good yeah, I'm going to have to dig some more. Oh, there's this one. It's been a long time since I've made a mess bringing out all kinds of stuff. Hmm. I'm not sure. What if I just put this one? I've been doing these and I put it on a journal that I didn't videotape and I sold already. 
I love the way it turned out. So I need to sit my butt down and make a bunch of these different sizes. I just loved the way it looked. Look at that, just up there. Ah, okay. But I think, I think, you know, you could also just, um, I'm thinking if I was to embellish the pocket with little bits and pieces just you know hanging there I used to have some tiny flowers but I don't think I brought those with me but I thought I saw a little one here Okay, let me see if that stays. There. I need both hands. I swear I saw a little one. I shouldn't swear. Um, I could have. I could have. I could have. Could have. Maybe I thought I saw. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Oops. No, see, it's white. Not, not, not going to work. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to add bits and pieces of like little trims like that. And make a little, um. what do you call it? Like a little cluster out of uh, different bits and pieces and maybe if I find a small button it would fit okay I don't know why I'm saving that yeah I had organized this but it's not organized anymore oh what about one of these but I don't have my cutters. But I'm wondering if I could add a little itty bitty rose. Hmm. Okay, not sure. Let you guys get the gifs. Where are we? 43 minutes. Okay, I need to stop focusing on that and So that's what I'm going to do. Definitely going to pop this down. So it'll be easier for me to stitch. Um, I don't know which one's the front and the back. So I'm just going to assume it's that one. And I'm just going to put some glue there to keep it in place. This, um, oh, there's that one, it's too big. And this, um, what if we were to cut one of these on flowers? So I'm thinking just add a little bit of fibers to it. Hmm. 
So I'm thinking something like that, but um, yeah, I need to remove those beads. That's not gonna work. So I'm thinking something like that, and then maybe get a little button. The only thing is, I don't know if I have an itty bitty button. Sorry guys, I'm moving the wire. Hopefully I don't disconnect my lamp here which it looks like i did oh no i didn't okay i did so i have these here um we need to find something tiny but cute and you see yes you guys can see um These two look. These were also gifted to me. What if I was to put that? I don't know. I kind of like that, but I'm going to move that and see how that will look. Eh, no. That was quick. This is the same as the one I already have. What about this one? That could work. It's not that bulky. I just have to put some thread and a needle. Oh shoot, I forgot to glue it. I mean glue this, cover my glue. So that there, this there. So I need to stitch, yeah, I'm gonna go for that. I need to stitch it, and then stitch that little thingy there, and then glue them down. So for now, I'm gonna pop those like that. Where are we? Got 10 minutes. You guys think we can do something in 10 minutes? <laughs> so here, we can leave that for journaling. <laughs> now, what do we want to do here is a question. I need a paper one there or we could um, collage on there you know why don't we also need to put some little fibers hanging out you know just to make it all fluffy and cute and I'm gonna try very hard not to stuff it up too much where it's like you know alligator mouth We've got 10 minutes, guys. But I wasn't planning on making a video 
for this i just wanted to get them together but if you guys want to continue to see videos of me you know embellishing and making pockets let me know and i'll continue the videos debating whether to um do it like uh i guess a pocket is what i'm trying to say a kind of hanging like that and then adding something like that i want to incorporate a lot of fabric that's for sure this piece I don't have a lot of space here guys it's like bah, you know I'm gonna push everything so what we can do here is wait. So if I pop that there, I'll give you my pencil. I just have to trim the bottom because it's not Great. But we're going to make a pocket up here and then this little tuck here. So that's what I'm going to do. So get my paper trimmer. If I can get it out without dropping anything. I kind of stole this from my sister to put it here for now. Isn't that pretty? But yeah, it's in my way. <laughs> I have to give it back to her. Yeah, put it in your spot. It's a pretty big space, but you know, I want to have everything on top of the table, so that's the problem. But yeah, so this one will go there. So we just need to collage it here. I'm a. I plan to leave that blank. So I'll have a little corner out, but that's okay. this out of the way guys but not too far away because you're gonna need it and then motion detected at the courtyard ay ay with that thing motion detected motion detected I guess it's good huh but no oh, it annoys me I feel like that goes together too this is a piece of of a um, book page. Here's another piece from that was left over. I think I'm going to do that. 
just make sure all my edges are good because this is an old um, book page and you know it's gonna get all it's brittle and it's gonna just pretty much turn into dust make sure it's down and we'll be good So that's going to be like that. Would one of these fit in there? Yes, it would. Look at that. That's so cute. Okay. So. What are we going to use to decorate? That one is a question. Bring the little book back. And that one's gonna go right there. I'm gonna stitch here before I glue it, before I stitch all around. So then we'll have, you know, space for a little tag back here. I'll probably do a bigger one. And you could even pop these in here because these are small enough for that. Isn't that cute, oh my goodness. I'm excited with this itty bitty book. But anyways, that's gonna go there. So now I gotta figure out here, what am I gonna do? Um, see, you have a lot of space for journaling, guys. And this one, see, we have a little tuck here. So there's some tucks that are already there. Here's another one. Um, but yeah, you got all kinds. See, there's a tuck there. Was it on the back too? No. Just here. And then some pages I tore the edges. Others just left as is. Another tuck there. So yeah, guys. I had so much fun just collaging these itty bitty pages. See, I added some washi tape. So just a little bit of everything. But I'm going to have to stop because it's already one minute. So, um, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see this, um, me continue working with it. If not, um, I'll see what other projects I bring out to you guys that I, I know I have some, I just haven't done them, but anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my itty bitty and, um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.